Matt Ryan's pick that J.C. Jackson got yeah. should have been a pick six, but J.C. toe-tapped, and oh, then yeah. his toe stepped out of bounds, or he had a clear lane for a pick six. Yeah, yeah I mean, look, yeah. the worst sequence in my mind mm-hmm. was – because that's when the game's over, right? And when it's thirteen nothing, it felt like the game was over. Oh, it's but, the third down. But for play. me, it yeah. was a third down and inches on the thirteen yard line, yeah. and just why aren't you running it? Thirteen yard sack. Now that's the difference to me. Why of, of what Cordell Paris, Cordero Patterson being in the game or not? I think they probably would have bashed with Cordero Patterson oh, or something probably. like that. Or probably. third third inches instead. It's a sack, and then it's a it's it's a a field goal attempt that is wiped off the board. They swapped out a, 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 a made penalty. field goal for for a missed field goal, 45-yarder for a 50, and then that's... Guy didn't line up, right? So they had illegal motion. They only had six, five guys on the right. line. Right, and they scrimmage. also had, like, what? They also had an illegal formation in the first drive where they were backed up inside their own yeah. five, and, you, you know, dumb. Arthur Smith was shaking his head. And At one point in the game, they had more penalties than first downs. You know what? The, 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 the Patriots' defense... Best in the NFL, number one in the NFL in in covering tight ends. Number one. Gave up, they gave up, on average, they gave up 29 yards a game Jeez. to tight ends. Do you know how many yards? 29.3 yards per game to tight ends. Do you know how many yards um, Pitts had last night? 29. I mean, like, they hit their average right on the head. Wow. And, you know, I think you sent me a tweet to this effect that – they should have chosen a quarterback or they should have traded back. They shouldn't have taken pits that this like, yeah, it was from Joe Banner. Actually. You know, that, 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 that taking pits and not taking Mac Jones or Justin Fields or trading back and using all of that to get more draft choices is going to be something that we'll be talking about for years to come. Isn't that what all the noise was pre-draft? Like, well, that was the noise all pre-draft. It's like, yeah. why are you drafting a tight end mm-hmm. if you need a quarterback or you need so much more than just the, the generationally terrific tight end? And, you know, how many touchdowns does Pitts have this year? I think just the one. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's had games where he's had over 100 yards receiving, but you want to look that one up for yeah, me? But like, Matt, Matt doesn't even I think even he's have... gotten in the end zone once against the Jets. He doesn't have time to, to get the ball to – to Pitts downfield. Well, he should. I mean, Pitts can get open. But he doesn't have the time. to. The, the line isn't great. The yeah, whole he's, he's thing. He's got one touchdown. One touchdown. I mean, he, and, 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 mm. and. He should be so good. And Belichick sung his praises coming into the game and afterwards said, I'm glad we're, we're, we're thankful we don't have to see him again. And that weapon gets three catches for 29 yards. That's it. Targeted him once, and the ball was kind of thrown behind him in the first drive of the game. And then, poof. There was one, Devin, oh. Devin McCourty's interception. Pitts kind of stopped his corner route, and Matt kind of threw it to where the, the mm. hole in the zone was, and Devin it came over and picked a, it. It is just remarkable how things change so fast in the yeah. NFL. <laughs> this was a but Super Bowl the, team the, how many years dude, ago? Dude, the Falcons were the seventh seed on Sunday. They woke yeah. up Sunday morning, the seventh seed. Going into Dallas with the Cowboys looking the way they did against Denver, and you, you know, hey, you yeah. never know. I was a little nervous. Certainly, if they came in and played offensively the same way that they did last year in losing that game on a, on a, on an onside kick, but five days later, they are boat raced, yeah. shut out, and no touchdowns in the yeah. two games, and you're wondering how bad can they possibly be? Drew Brees and Bruce Arians coming up hour three. You know, same way that last week's home team, the Dolphins, one win in the first eight weeks, two wins in five days. Who the heck knows now, right? Mm -hmm. Falcons, seven seed going. They woke up Sunday morning in the Metroplex playing the Dallas Cowboys, feeling good about themselves after beating the Saints in New Orleans. Let's go. We're the seven seed. Keep winning. We're going to make the playoffs. We could see what happens. And now it's like five five days later, did they make the – organizational mistake of sticking with Matt Ryan or not trading down out of the fourth overall pick so somebody could go up and get Justin Fields. I'm assuming they did have a trade possibility. I'm assuming they had. I'm assuming they had a trade partner and they just said, screw it, we're not going to go with it. Right. Because you could say, basically say, yeah, what we were offered for that fourth overall selection, taking pits was much better than trading too far back and getting nobody and then just what more second I, I i don't know what the option would have been 
But the general sense is. As GM, you wouldn't have made that middle. move is what you're saying? I don't know. I don't know what the yeah, other I options yeah, were. I, mean, I don't know what the other options also were. Also, the whole evaluation period, you're just hearing how Pitts is a future Hall of Famer. This guy's going to come into right. the league and be a top three at this position. You still think Matt Ryan has many and years Arthur left? Arthur Smith, if the guy you hired is like, I, we can win with Matt Ryan. Right. You know, we could win with Matt Ryan, and we could win with 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 what we got here. I got you. We'll, exactly. we'll figure this out. And Cordero Patterson's been terrific. Yeah. He's been one of the best offensive players in the league this year. And they Finally. were the seventh seed entering Week Ten. They're exiting Week Eleven five days later in a big pile of ash. Do you think that they can turn it around? Of course they can. I mean, there's enough of season left. Of course you can. It's a week to week league that, you know, Arthur Smith said you gotta you gotta leave out all the noise. And that's when I asked him, Are you referring to me? <laughs> right now, I guess he would, because my noise right now is like that's that that looked like a team that's lost. Mm -hmm. Not like a team that can pull it together and make a playoff run. Certainly with Cam now back for Carolina. Certainly with the Vikings having something in their grasp against Green Bay, and we'll see what happens there. That could change in two seconds flat, too. Saints taking on the Eagles. That's a big game this weekend. That's these are what we're talking about for seed six and seven, and then who might be sniffing it behind them right mm -hmm. now. The Falcons are not even sniffing much. They're smelling the glove to use the spinal tap phrase. <laughs> hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.